Alrighty, how are we all doing today, everybody? Uh, this is going to be a Battle Brothers Let's Play that we're recording for YouTube. I haven't done one of these before, but uh, we're just going to go ahead and give it a try. And uh, we'll just kind of see how it goes. Uh, I have a little bit of time in Battle Brothers. Not a crazy amount. I have 300 hours in the game, and I feel like uh, I still have a whole lot to learn. But I've got a pretty basic understanding of the game. We're just going to be starting uh, with the standard new company start, uh, random late game crisis, and uh, we'll go with expert eco economic difficulty, expert combat, starting funds of medium, see if we can get a, a good seed start to the game. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And I just figure we're just going to kind of slowly make our way through this file and, uh, you know, record while I do it. So, let me know if you're interested in this kind of thing, or if you don't really care, or if you want to see more, or if you want me to explain certain aspects of the game more, or anything like that. Just, I don't know, just let me know. So if you're interested, I'm interested in doing it. I've been playing it on stream quite a bit lately, but I'm going to be doing some different stuff on stream. So... We're going to try this little tad bit of the YouTube stuff. So, uh, let's give the start a read here. You soak in the cool morning air. As the sun slowly rises, so does a new chapter and your life begin. After years of bloodying your sword for meager pay, you've saved enough crowns to start your very own mercenary company. With you are Yugen, Sigmar, and Kali with whom you've fought before side by side in the shield wall. You are their commander now, the leader of the U2 brothers. As you travel the lands, you should hire new men in the villages and cities to fill your ranks. Many who offer their services will have never picked up a weapon before. Maybe they are desperate. Maybe they are greedy for quick spoils of war. Most of them will die on the battlefield, but do not be discouraged. Such is the mercenary life, and the next village will always have new men eagerly looking for a new start in life. The lands are dangerous these times. Robbers and pillagers lay in ambush by the roads. Wild beasts roam the dark forests, and orc tribes are restless beyond the boundaries of civilization. There are rumors even of dark magic being at work, the dead rising from their graves and walking again. There is plenty of opportunity to earn good money, whether by taking on contracts you can find in the villages and cities all over the land, or by venturing out on your own to explore and raid. Your men look to you to give a command. They live and die for the two brothers now. Huzzah indeed. All right. Well, so the first thing that I typically do uh, in Battle Brothers is going to take a, a good look at the map. And figure out where exactly it is that we are going to be going. Uh, we want to find a place that we can take some early game quests. Basically, there are some locations that will not give us quests right away. These places with the large stone walls are not going to be giving us any quests. And the places uh, with large wooden walls also... Uh, let's see if I can find one. As an example, the, the, they, the, the wooden wall ones also will not give us our quests. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't. Oh, there, there's one. Okay. So we want to find a location that has a few places next to each other that are going to give us some quests. Ideally, we would have a, uh, a boat, a dock that we could travel, like you could fast travel via the docks to each other so ideally there would be one down south and one up north doesn't look like there's one up north but uh not super concerned about it right now so we have these two right next to each other we're definitely going to be going to these towns and then there's another town right over here too there's also uh buildings that are like connected to the towns and those have bearings on certain things but i think for the most part for right now we're probably just gonna this is gonna want to just get in there and uh do a little bit of stuff and uh, see what kind of a, a start we get. Um, so the three brothers that we get here are going to be pretty darn solid. And are going to, for the most part, be like pretty, pretty great later game characters. Or at least tolerable late game characters. 
Uh, I am using a number of mods. I'll have a link in the description for the various mods that uh, that we're using. So that way you know why does something look different in the base game compared to how yours looks, and that'll be that'd be why. Okay, well we got uh, pretty lucky here. It looks like we got some pretty decent characters that are going to be worth at least looking at. Um, some of these characters I'm just going to hire right off the bat, for sure. Like uh, like the butcher here. Uh, I can see these background stats again because of a mod. So I'm not even going to like try them out because that's going to be 83 gold. I did start with medium uh, medium starting money, but I still don't have a whole bunch of gold to look at. Um, but their starting stats are pretty decent. And the brawler as well. Has pretty decent starting stats. Just going to hire them right out the gate. And farmers are pretty uh, solid fodder type characters. And when I say fodder, what I mean is a character that is intended uh, to help keep other brothers alive. So uh, we're just going to hire those guys as well. Maybe hiring a little bit uh excessive here but we're gonna give it a shot anyway so thieves have really excellent potential for being tanks because they have a really high melee defense starting stat but he's really expensive and i'm def i'm just gonna try him out just to see if he happens to have good stats and as it turns out he has melee attack melee defense and resolve well those are all really good stats so that's very very absurdly lucky so <laughs> i'm gonna be hiring bert win the black cat as well I could give a tryout to this poacher uh, to see if maybe they would become a decent ranged unit as well, I guess. But I've already hired uh, five brothers here, so I should probably try to get some gear on them. Uh, so that way they don't die. So not the greatest role on melee defense, but a good melee attack role on him. So definitely going to be... I'm going to try to, like, name these characters, like, what I intend for them to be. I'll have a, a link to the spreadsheet that uh, gives an idea of what these characters... Like, when I label them something, um, they'll, there will be a corresponding, like, build on the spreadsheet. So that way, you know, like, when I name somebody Tank, they have the intent of becoming that kind of build. Um, stuff like that. One of the great things about Battle Brothers is the unique... Uh, types of builds that you can do. Wow, this is a very... This guy... Oh, he rolled... He had uh, Dexterous, so he gets plus 5 melee skill. So this guy is going to have um, 89 melee skill at level 11, which is really, really good. So... Uh, that guy is going to be very good. He's actually going to end up with 92 with... Um, with gifted, which we I, I do intend to give them. Got very, very, very lucky on a lot of these characters. Um, boy, yikes! Holy smokes, this is insanely lucky. Anyway, um, and then this guy is actually could could become a pretty decent uh uh character too. Jeez, Lou, got got very lucky here, but. Just because we got lucky character starts doesn't mean that they're going to survive or anything like that. So, um, I'd like to get a pitchfork. It is a bit expensive. Pitchfork uh, is a two-tile ranged weapon that we can use to, you know, keep a more important unit in the back line. Um, but it's, a, I'm just going to go ahead and spend the money for it. Any, any uh, stuff that's damaged can be good to pick up, especially helmets, because helmets uh, help keep your units alive. And I'll even take, like, these as well, just to make sure that we have all of our units wearing helmets, especially ones on the front line and stuff. I want to keep our most important units. Like, like this starting guy is is fine. Could be, a, could be an okay starting bannerman. 
I guess. Although also the you could you could also be a okay bannerman on the uh, butcher here. Uh, so this guy's going to have 91 before we even put gifted. So he's going to have 94 melee attack. So this guy is going to be probably one of the most important units that we keep alive here. Okay. Are there any other shields for sale here? Okay, you got a couple of shields. They are 150 apiece. Does everybody have a weapon of some kind here? We do all have a weapon, except for you. Well, we probably want a couple of daggers. Daggers are useful because it has a secondary attack. And what that secondary attack does is it lets us uh, bypass enemy units' armor. And that's important because um, the lower the damage that an, an, uh, that that armor has, the more likely you are to get it at the end of combat, basically. So, okay, I actually bought one too many hats, but that's all right. So these units that are going to be on the front line are going to be more likely to take damage. Uh, so we want to, if we can, give them shields. These shields are quite expensive. I'll probably just buy one shield for right now. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've already purchased a couple too many units, basically. So it's going to be kind of difficult to keep everybody geared up. Okay. This guy wants me to bring goods somewhere. I don't really care about that. Uh, what I would like is f uh, to help with this ambush trade route. Okay, good. Barbarians west of here have been pillaging nearby villages. Okay, well, uh, let's. I guess we're going to go ahead and take that. But normally we're looking for brigands, not barbarians. So I'm not exactly sure if we're actually going to be able to defeat this, but uh, I'm going to give it a try, and hopefully it doesn't fail miserably, I guess. I'm not really sure. Um, obviously, I don't really have any good armor on any of these units, but we're just going to go ahead and give it the old college try and see what we can't do. Thralls, they're definitely not not dangerous. Hopefully we can get some lucky hits. Uh, what I think I'm going to be doing here is uh, having everybody move back a tile. Yeah. Oh, they moved back a tile, too. Oh, well, la-di-da, look at you being so smart and things. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to pass then. Okay. Yeah, they're just going to... Okay, well, I need to move forward a tile then. Actually, I might need to move forward two tiles. already ended the turn on these other characters in the back. I think these guys aren't moving forward because I don't have a ranged unit. Ooh, nice shot. Yeah, so they're just going to stay back because they have uh, some throwing stuff. He's already having a bad time. It's all right, though. Just going to move you back. That's what happens when we don't have any good armor. I 
Just passing on some of these units. Just, uh, like, I could move forward and try to attack this guy. I suppose that's probably not necessarily a terrible idea. Can move forward and get an attack. These two. I shouldn't have ended on these guys. A very, very respectable hit chance here. Okay. I'm going to move next to this guy in shield wall. Oh, he stabbed me right through my shield wall. What a jerk. This guy is a verifiable jerkosaurus. I'm going to put you here. I want to get more units adjacent to their units. It's pretty risky, but... Okay, well... Them's the brakes. This guy's acting in four turns. Fifty four, fifty three. Guess we'll go with that shot. Oh, man. Getting brutalized over here. We need to hit them and get them to panic. That's, I think, what we need to have happen right now. Good. Okay, lucky. 250% chance misses. Okay. Very decent chance that we all die here, okay? The 92 melee attack character is definitely dead. He's trying to bypass his armor. Unfortunately, I'm not uh, in a spot where I can actually attack with this guy's axe because he can't move twice and attack with it, but... Oh, boy. Well, he's dead, too. Maybe this was a little bit above my pay grade. I well, missed a 59% chance, unfortunately. We did get that guy, though. Hoping for a lucky hit here. Unfortunately, he's going to move away, and that's almost assuredly going to get him killed. And, uh, yeah. That is unfortunate. That is definitely unfortunate. Okay, well, the good news is is uh, some people survived, and the bad news is, is that a lot of people didn't survive. So that's bad. And uh, that's kind of uh, why we probably shouldn't have taken the barbarian encampment. Um, let's see. All right, let's take this guy in. Let's take this guy in. All right, let's see. Brom. Oh, 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 hello, barbarian. 61 melee attack. Jeez, a loot. All right, well. Yeah, this guy has a traumatized uh, permanent injury, so that's unfortunate for him. Um, definitely. So if I was trying to play a little bit more seriously, I might try to redo this seed. Um, and, uh, and then, like, just try to do a better job in that fight. But I don't know if that's something that I really feel like doing. 
This is interesting. I've never gotten a character that's like this high of a level this early. It's kind of uh, wild. Seems like a extremely strong character. So this guy is traumatized. Um, we're going to still keep him for now, though. Yeah, this guy is going to be redonkulously strong. And we're going to be taking Colossus on him just to make sure that we have good survivability. Like this, he's already like one of the strongest. He's already the strongest character that we have. I want him to have a large amount of HP. It just gives him a lot more uh, survivability early, right? And that's what Colossus does. It gives us 25% additional HP as well. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Just all right. Just have a fourth extremely strong starting character. Don't mind if I do. One of those characters that died. Uh, I know no, none of them were my starting characters. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're just gonna keep keep going. All right. I have completed your task, sir. It has costed me a great cost. Now, maybe I could uh, give a try out to this guy now. He's got two stars and ranged attack. He's got a we he's got weasel extra defense when retreating. It's not. That's not any uh, of any interest to me, neither is Brute, but uh, the fact that he has two stars and a range skill means that he's going to have plus four in his range attack every level. And um, so if he if he rolls pretty decent on his uh, start, then he'll end up with a very high... So he, he rolled a 47, which is actually minimum, but uh, that still means he's going to have 87 range attack and actually 90 when he hits uh, level 11. So... Um, I don't know. We're going to give that a try, I suppose. Like This guy started with uh, 52, so he's going to end up with uh, 92. So that's pretty good. But Or 95 after gifted. So that's still good. Having, a, having some uh, archers is nice. And the reason that having archers is nice is uh, enemy units will attack you attack into you you saw like the barbarians stood back and they didn't attack us and that's because that they had more ranged weapons than we did so if you can get the enemies to attack you that can be quite good oh the brigands okay so they are dealing with some brigands and that sounds great to me let's go deal with some brigands the reason we like brigands is uh they aren't usually as geared as those barbarians are they probably won't have throwing weapons like that and um They have some good gear that we could potentially use. Is there anything else that I want to swap onto characters here? I want to have daggers on people so we can stab a unit to death if need be. This guy's a wonky bow. It's not great. That's fine, though. So we have some tracks here to the west. We're going to follow those. See what we can find over here in the darkness. Okay, so we have thieves here. It is nighttime, so my ranged units aren't going to be particularly great. I'm going to go ahead and wait a moment here until it hits day. Not that my archers are going to be hitting many things even during the day, because their ranged attack is quite poor. However, still should give us a bit of an advantage. Definitely going to be passing on all my units here. Um... I wouldn't mind moving back a couple of tiles, actually. Just to give them, uh, this way I can get one shot off with my archer, one shot off with my uh, crossbow. I can technically only move once with my crossbow and do that, but I'm gonna move you here. So that way hopefully when they move forward next time I can Actually get a hit in. Otherwise, everybody else is going to go straight back two tiles. Okay. 
one of them is going to move up onto that raised ground tile, I'm sure. Just hoping to get lucky is all here. Unfortunate, but so it goes. Just going to wait, and they're going to move into us, so this way I can get two attacks on each of them. Uh... Nice, lucky hit. And two lucky hits in a row. I will take it. That sounds fantastic. 52% chance to hit. No good, unfortunately. Not super concerned about him living or dying. I'm definitely concerned about Dietrich living or dying. Um, however, I don't really have a great chance. Better chance of hitting this guy. Nice. It's very good. Yeah, I don't know what I'm really going to be able to do about that. Did manage to stab him in the head, which is good. But I'm pretty sure Dietrich is going to die here, and that's very sad. I'd be very lucky for him to not die. Well, the good news is, is, okay, so we got lucky, for sure. Um, but by killing that unit, I caused him to move into breaking, and whenever they have, uh, have that stat, they are, uh, like their stats are reduced. Right. So move down here and finish that guy off. Now these guys are both playing, so... What I want to do now, obviously I do want to finish this guy off, but what is actually more important is I want to surround this unit right here. I don't want him to get away. Oh, yeah, this guy is dangerous because he's got a spear. Got to be careful about that. Well, well I'm just being lucky, so I, mean, I will take it. Nice. Okay, so I want to surround this guy if I can. Um, he's going to be able to run away. Well, okay, so the good news is, is it looks like we hit him in the head. And so hopefully that means that his armor didn't take any damage. And indeed, I did get his armor, so it's a 70 armor. I really want that. That looks good. And we got a whole bunch of levels, which is super crazy strong. I definitely had my share of uh, starts in Battle Brothers, and this is definitely... One of the more, more absurdly lucky ones that I've ever gotten, so that's nice. Um, I think this guy in general is probably, probably going to end up being a bannerman, I guess. I don't know. He's not like a super ex crazy exceptional bannerman, but he's like, okay. But he's just not going to be like super great on the front line. Um. Hmm. Well, um yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. We're just we're just going to make him a bannerman. That's going to be the plan. Um eventually anyway. So we're still going to give him Colossus for more survivability. Pretty much everybody's going to be getting Colossus. Um, either, either this guy's going to be two-handed melee, or he might end up being um, a duelist, I guess. He is going to end up with 91 melee attack. He has pretty okay fatigue. So, I'll, you know what, I'm going to put duelist question mark on him. Still going to want a large amount of HP. Pretty much, yeah, like I said before, um, Colossus is going to be on the start of all characters. 
On my spreadsheet, I actually have them starting with student, but when a character is this, when we're this early in the game, ev pretty much everybody's gonna get Colossus, because everybody gets Colossus at some point anyway, like usually first or second. So I'm not even gonna bother with student, I just wanna give them more survivability, so. All right, let's take you, and want, basically want HP and fatigue on our archers, and you are gonna be getting students. That way you level faster. Um, and we need to give you some stuff too. So we want we want him to roll good on his melee defense, and then he will become a pretty solid character. He has very low HP because of that torso wound that he has. His his resolve is also a bit low. His melee attack is strong. I'm just going to put roll good melee defense on him, just so that way I, I like, if he, if he rolls good melee defense, then he's going to be a solid character, and if he doesn't, then um, he's just going to end up becoming fodder. Um, this guy is definitely going to be named fodder now, because he took those injuries. Uh, Bannerman. This is going to be duelist question mark, not 100% sure. Let's head back. Got 300 crowns, not too bad. Um, there's a two star contract or two skull contract here available. He wants me to bring something to Halheim, the day east. Uh, okay, you know what? I'll just take it. I'll take it. We're, we're going to be leaving this town anyway. Let me double check that there's nothing else worth checking out here. Not gonna bother. Um, Oh, there is a temple here. I could spend money to repair. Not my fodder person, but maybe you. Because that's two to six days that they're going to be having that super low HP. And this will make it so that it heals in just like a day or something. So um, There was no, no other things in the store that I was interested in purchasing. There is some armor here that would be better than the stuff that I'm wearing. And it's also not ex crazy expensive because it's damaged. Tool price is not the absolute worst thing. We are very low on money right now, but... Uh, we're going to be giving our frontline guys, especially this early Spears, just because Spears give plus 20% accuracy, plus 20% chance to hit, and uh, that's pretty good. Actually, here you can have this 55 gear. I know that you're fodder, and I do, and, and I don't really have much... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't actually care a whole lot if you actually survive or, or not, so... I'm gonna give the guy that I actually want to have live... the better gear, because he's gonna be more in the front line. And... Okay, so let's go to... Ludolf. Where is that? Day to the east. Ludolf of Halheim. Oh, right. Well, let's just speed the game up and get rocking and rolling. Very possible that we get attacked on our way here, but we'll see how it goes. Get 200 crowns for our trouble. Nice. All right. Uh, taxidermist here. Don't really care a whole lot about that. What's going on here? Barbarians. Oh boy. I really don't want to fight barbarians, but I need money. 540 crowns. Holy smokes. Alright. Sounds dangerous. Oh, it's go. It's gonna be really dangerous. Oh, we are going to die. We got anybody that is interested in uh, interested in dying for us? Detailers are very cheap. And, uh, their stat rolls aren't crazy bad. We'll take a Detailer. Okay, he's no, no good. But, we'll give him some... Some basics. And we'll hope that he is a, a good distraction along with our other foddery person here.
Okay. And we could look for, like, another character. But, again, like, we don't have any money, so. Alright, Barbarians. We got a, a couple of Warhounds, too, and some Thralls. Let's give it a shot. Thirteen better chance to hit these guys. Not saying much. Wild inaccuracy of the bows this early. Okay. Sorry, doggo. injury did actually heal itself. I didn't actually think to check ahead of time. We're going to move him here, one tile away, and then I'll move forward and attack him next turn. I think I'd probably rather have him throw those uh, things at me and get a normal attack off. Oh boy. That was 272s and 279 misses. That is uh, not ideal. Okay. Not great, but okay. Probably most concerned with this guy that moved right next to me, I suppose. Very, very, very low accuracy, unfortunately. Which is the way it goes this early in the game. Boy, I mean, our accuracy is low, but... Yikes. did finish off the dogs. Oh boy. Oof, got lucky not to get hit by that. Okay. Very fortunate hit there. Oh boy. Okay, that guy just bled to death. Didn't actually realize he was going to bleed to death. Probably could have just held off on that then. I don't want this guy to be next to my archer. Frick. Um, I also don't want our potential duelist here to die a horrible death. As it turns out, so... Not ideal here. Just gonna try and get this guy surrounded. Get ourselves a better chance to hit him. Yeah, unfortunate. So he, he got struck down, so there's a small chance that he actually ends up uh, being all, like usable, but uh, not. Not great. Not great. Eighty-three. This is unfortunate. Surrounded. All right. Well, we finished him off. What's the injury? You got brain damage. Well, that's actually not too bad at all. It gives him extra resolve, which is useful. Um, it reduces his experience gain and initiative, but those don't really matter that much. Um, so I'm happy with that. Pretty happy with brain damage. Not too often you can probably say that. We got a level on our archer. Very nice. Start digging him out of the dregs of poor archery. 
we are gonna we are gonna want to get that resolve up just a little bit because that resolve is pretty fiercely bad I didn't actually like even bother looking at the resolve but it's all right so some injuries on these characters okay we got 540 bucks for our trouble though so that's not too bad okay, we, yeah, we don't have anything for the taxidermist so we can take a look at this farmhand. Monks can be very good bannermen. Um, of course, brawlers like we uh, got one before can be pretty solid too. Okay, well, let's go ahead and you know, one thing to note too is like what stuff that people come with. So sometimes you, you can get okay value on a, a character just because they start they came with something that was useful to you. I have a good bow here for like half off, more than half off. It's just half half uh, damaged. That could definitely be something to pick up here. Much be much better than that wonky bow that we're using. I think that's a pretty good good deal there. I well uh, I didn't mean to do that. Crap. I don't know what I just what did I just pay? Did I actually just pay 442 for that? Oh boy. That's definitely not what I meant to do. I just for some reason I accidentally pulled the mouse and I misbought the Incorrect item. Well, it's a it's a it's a range of two, I guess. Uh, I guess I guess I'm just gonna use it. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh boy. I don't think I really need any of these things. seem worse than anything else that I'm using. We'll keep this crummy helmet thing just in case. Same with these shields. Anybody else that we get that's going to be put on the front line is going to probably be wanting something like that. We only have 219 bucks, so whatever the next uh, quest is, we're going to be taking it. Uh, okay. You need a place found. Oh, these are really not great because they're kind of difficult to find the locations. Sometimes you get really lucky and you find it right away and it's out in the open, but frequently you just gotta wander around aimlessly. Meanwhile, you're paying your troops money and stuff like that, so... Um, I kinda wanna do it just because I'm really desperate for cash, but uh, I don't know, like it might just be better for me to go to another town. All right, you know what? Heck, heck it. We're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot. Shuffling bones swale to the west around the region of Ragnar's range. Okay, well, let's, uh... Okay. Leave the shuffling bone swale where it be. If you find it, talk to us. Our crowns for your silence. The rulers of Hullheim need not know nothing. All right. Uh, we're going to want to forge a bond of friendship and get, uh... Get a better... Like, this is, this is like, our first, like, little quest. We get like, some, like, nice little bonus renown and... Sometimes you get unique items for completing these kind of things, but we're gonna do this. Um, this is like an easy one. Basically, we become allies with the town. You don't have to become allied with the town, like not that status, because like there's. We just need to become like, friendly. Out of the west around the region of Ragnar's range. Okay, I found it. So somebody will probably offer me more money for not telling him where Ragnar's range is. Um, so he's gonna give me 360 more, but I'm supposed to try to become friendly with the town, so. Give the information to the town like we're supposed to. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I didn't. 
to set up and put that stuff on these characters. We'll give you that pole arm since we're trying to keep you alive anyway. Um, I'm actually going to give the better archer, because he is better. I'm going to give you this. I've got to take away the crossbow bolts. We'll give you the crossbow, and we'll give you the arrows and the better bow. This thing does more damage. This is 40 to 60, and this is 30 to 50. This, uh, the, the crossbow has an accuracy bonus, though, but this you can fire twice in one turn. So, so that's pretty nice. I want to give you a spear. I know your accuracy is abysmal, but this cut arm, that's reducing your melee and range skill. It's not great, but that's how it goes. Since your accuracy is so reduced because of your injury, do that. Okay, uh, I'm not going to buy any more characters because I'm broke, and we're going to see what this is. Two days west of here. All right, you know what? It's not not usually a great deal, but we're trying to get friendly with the town to complete this little goal. Oh, we already completed it. Okay, so I probably didn't actually need to do this, but that's all right. Going back to Thal, two days to the west. Sure. Finally, I can get a word with you, Sellsword. Look, you may not believe this, but I am Balan Von Gota of House Gota. I don't, uh... I don't care. I don't, I don't have time. I don't, I don't, I'm not skilled enough, anyway, to complete... Uh... Or to, to, to fight off the guards and stuff like that, so... Orc Marauders, oh boy. Oh, come on. This company, you didn't help me at all. We might actually die to this. That's not great. Berserkers are absurdly dangerous. Good shot. Insanely dangerous. Normally I would fall back and like let my archers uh, kind of get a shot off here and there just to try to get a little bit of extra damage in. I don't really have that luxury, however, because uh, these units are also here and I can't let them die either. So, it's unfortunate. This is very, very, very possible that we actually just just lose to this. Okay. Oh, getting some lucky hits though. That's good. It's important. One of the things that these uh, these orc young do is they charge into you. I'm gonna try doing a spear wall here and see if that'll maybe hold. Yeah, see they do that. That's definitely annoying. That is super crazy bad. So, the good news is... Is he has to be one tile away from me in order to get a swing in, so I'm gonna need to just move away from him. Uh, so that way he can't move and attack me. Because that's really the only way that uh, we don't die to this Orc Berserker. Basically, once they get one kill, uh, when, they, when they get kills, they get bonuses. To damage and stuff, so they're really terrible. And uh, uh, they once they get one kill, then they get another kill, and then they get more bonuses, and then you die. <laughs> really bad. So. We're just going to try and do our best to stay away from this guy, which we're probably not going to be able to do, realistically. Uh, but we'll try and mop up all these other units. So, so he, he's right next to us already, so... Not a surprise. Uh, we need to try to kill him immediately. I think maybe what I should do is move forward here with this unit, so that way you can move down and attack him as well. Yeah, I think I think we should be able to finish him off because if we can't then we're probably gonna lose so 
He's, he's fleeing, actually. So he's I don't know that I actually care too much that he's fleeing. I still just want to kill him immediately, so... Alright, this is working out okay. Okay, that guy's fleeing now, too. That's really good. Young to panic. That sounds great. Uh, wait here. Just end your turn there. I don't know if I want to move right next to this guy. So that, he unfortunately did kill my fodder character. I just didn't want to move next to him with my more important characters so we get attacked. Just taking some pot shots there. Oh, that guy just jumped in there and stole my kill. What a butt. Sir, you are a butt. Well, at least you're the one taking an attack there for me, I guess. So. Not a fan. Not a fan. I want the kill. There we go. Good. Well, the fodder guy died. That's okay. We got a couple of uh, morning stuff. Falchion. It's going to be it's a sword type weapon, so swords uh, have plus 20% accuracy. Less than a spear, but still decent. Alright. Well, hopefully we don't get attacked by anything uh, horrible like that again, but you never know. So, definitely going to be happy to increase his melee attack. And, uh... Uh, it definitely increases HP. We'll increase his melee defense too. Just give him more survivability. And Colossus to give him more health. Excellent. And we're definitely looking like I, like it says in this subtitle, looking for him to roll good on his melee defense. He did not, but doesn't mean he's just because he doesn't roll like a three every single time doesn't mean he's necessarily going to be completely worthless. So we have to put points in other stats as well. So. Ahead and bump up his resolve here. Maybe. Yeah, maybe his health, actually. Yeah, let's just give him health. Okay, good, good, good. Very nice. Um, he got a max roll on HP here. I think I'm gonna be fine with giving him a roll on that. And then we get another perk here. Definitely melee attack, melee defense, and we're going to give him fatigue this time. Alright, so, very nice. We completed that other task, so now we get to receive another task. So we can work on a battle standard, got to save up some money, and then uh, we can get that battle standard, which also acts as a spear-type weapon, like a two-tile two spear weapon. Uh, a polearm weapon, rather. And it also works with it. Like, it's, it, it goes on your bannerman, the guy with high resolve, and it basically, like, gives a percentage of that guy's resolve and an AoE around him to your other units. So, like, you want that guy to have super high resolve so that way he can inspire the other troops to do a better job. So that's usually the one that I would get next. Uh, I don't think I want to work towards a dozen men right now. To establish ourselves mercenaries. Uh, so this is complete eight or more contracts of any kind. That's an easy one to complete too. Like this is, all this is, is like saving up 2,000 crowns and then half of it goes away. The, th the 1,000 crowns goes away uh, to, to create the battle standard. So uh, let's go ahead and just do that because we want that battle standard anyway. low on food unfortunately when I pass through this town I might be able to click on it and perhaps 
Oops. Purchase a little smidge of food. Um, could potentially sell a little something here too. There's some stuff that we don't want. Don't need that wonky bow. Strawing axes are actually could, could be okay. I need to equip this bandage on somebody before I forget. Stop bleeding, which is very good. Throw those throwing axes on our archer. Any interesting units here? Nothing that I can afford or anything like that. Three hundred and seventy-four crowns, and they got a quest for us too. Rich veins, okay. Fifty percent more uncut gems or copper ingots. Yeah, I mean we don't have the money to be really buying and selling stuff here. If we, well, it's actually not too bad of a price. The tool price here is really, really good. Must have a workshop here. No, no they got they gotta have a workshop, right? Maybe it's just because they're iron veins. Because this this and this thing is indicating they're selling for more. Buying items for more, buying items for more. Yeah, this place is selling or buying items for really, really good prices. Sell some more stuff here. Uh, don't need that. Rather, I'd rather use the normal shields. This shield is like, these things are like worn out. This has 24 max HP, this has 16, so. What we want to do for these things is, is buy them for less. Right, we want to buy them for less than they're worth and then resell them for more than they're worth elsewhere. But we'll see what this quest is. Brigands have been harrying us for weeks now. All right, well, I'll say that I'll help you. Uh, what, now that we've reached our previous goal of being befriending a town, I'll usually just try to get more money one time because it doesn't seem that there's any real downside to that. So we'll do that. Wow, three legendary weapons, or three named weapons, I don't know, I just call them legendary weapons. 201% um, effective versus armor, wow, okay, neat stuff, neato, I obviously don't have anywhere near enough money for that stuff though, that's cool. Alright, where's the brigand at, over here, okay, let's see if we can get some, some juicy loots. dusk and now it's nighttime. I have the one unit with this helmet on that makes it so that they can uh, fight without any nighttime penalty so we could just go for it anyway and this will also potentially make their archers not if, if they have any archers I don't know if they do or don't but uh, I could also rest and wait for the day I think I'm just going to do it at night though no information the previous run that I did we had um, we had poachers we got a lot of information about the surrounding uh, like the like those those kind of tiles when we attacked them at the the encampment. So okay, we're gonna we're gonna be moving forward here and attacking. I think these two range units are gonna be attacking this brigand thug or something. I want this guy's armor. This guy back here with the axe. This guy's fifty armor would also potentially be nice. I'm just gonna attack that guy. Yeah, I don't want to attack this guy because uh, I don't want to destroy his armor. Like, I want to dagger him to death. But daggering him to death... Um, <clears throat> while there's a whole bunch of other enemy units alive is probably not the greatest idea. So I could focus on killing these units here. swap to daggers and try and dagger them down. I don't know. Um, like I said, I don't know if this is a very good idea, but maybe we'll give it a try. Hmm. 
Maybe I could try and use Spear Wall here to stop unit, the unit, these guys from moving forward. I'll pass on his turn. I'll put him lower in the queue for next turn. So it like reduces his, his initiative. Nice. And I don't, I don't want to hit this guy like I said before. So I'm just going to take some pot shots back here. Maybe we get lucky, hit somebody. Maybe we don't. Not a big deal. Oh, hey, there's a Brigade Raider. I want all of his gear. Okay, maybe never mind. Maybe maybe who I want is uh Oh, well, we got we got we got the hits on him there anyway, so that's not too bad. Oh boy. Oh that's not ideal. Maybe I don't know how spear wall works with this. Maybe I did. I guess I assumed that it would work multiple tiles away, but that does not seem to be how it works. Just gonna take some random pot shots. I want to move him over. Uh, I don't want him to get smashed with this uh, polearm weapon. That looks really dangerous. I didn't want him to get smashed with that polearm weapon either. No. That's, uh, I'm going to have less accuracy versus a unit that's right next to me, so that's why I didn't fire at that guy. Wow, that was a headshot. Uh, yeah, that's what you get for not wearing a helmet, you dingus. Oh, that stinks. Not a fan of this. Not a fan at all. I need a shield wall here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my spear back out. Okay, lucky. Get my spear back out. So that's, that's what I get for screwing around with that guy. That's what I get. Bad stuff happens. Nice, good, good shield wall, good shield wall. Keep him alive, keep him alive. That guy is fleeing. We'll finish him off here with you. And we'll start moving you around. <sighs> no. Okay, these. The, okay, this is great. This guy is fleeing. That guy's fleeing too. I want to get this guy surrounded. I want to dagger him to death. down. If you say it's over there, then uh, they get away, which is not good. I'll move you here. I'm going to try and kill that guy to get him out of the way. I don't I don't want this guy to be able to even move ideally because if he does move then he's going to damage himself like he's gonna like try and run away and then I'll uh, accidentally damage him okay cool this is perfect it's exactly what we want you don't have a dagger that's fine Do you have a dagger? Oh. All right. It's a fantastic old dagger party here. Nice. Very good. Well, hey, that's very good. We got three levels there. We should have gotten that guy's gear. Nice. 90, uh, 90 on the body armor and 70 on the helmet. And uh, we got that other guy's armor too. That's 65 gear. So that's, that's a whole bunch of really nice stuff. Heck yeah. <laughs> So basically, like, early on, we want to kind of get those, uh, get that kind of brigand tier uh, gear. And then we want to kind of move up and get some higher quality gear. Ideally, we can get that kind of stuff for free. But 
like by daggering down units by bypassing their armor and stuff like that, but a lot of times we'll probably end up having to buy it. Because, like, basically 110 uh, durability gear is going to be the best kind of stuff that we can get from brigands. And um, once we kind of fill up on that, then we need to move on to something uh, more high quality. Like stuff that, uh, especially with higher level uh, characters, and if we want them to be using the Battleforged perk, which, like, makes really high level armor even better, we want to start getting people with high 200s or even 300 armor gear. So take the melee attack here and uh, we'll take more HP on this bannerman as well we want to keep leveling that resolve and I think we're getting are we getting gifted on you next uh, yeah and we'll t keep taking resolve and again I think we're just gonna keep leveling up melee attack if we if he ends up with high enough melee attack then we can uh, have him do double time as a, a bannerman slash uh, disarm guy with a whip and stuff like that, and that could be very, very useful for us. So, and I, like I said before, I still just wanted to keep him, want to keep him alive. I want him to have at least 100 HP. I think is the plan right now. Yeah, your resolve is absolutely abysmal. So since you got a nice roll on that, we're gonna hit that up there. Okay, and we're gonna go gifted on you. That's the plan. And again, ranged attack. And we're going to go HP and Fatigue here. I don't really need these ranged units to have a really high resolve. But I want them to have something. So that way they don't freak out at the first sign of something vaguely crappy happening. Right? So. But generally we want to do range, skill, fatigue, and HP on these characters. Like he's pro I'm not probably never going to level up resolve on, that, on this archer. So. Not too concerned about that, but uh, we're going to go turn in this quest, and that's what we're going to call this little video for today. So, um, if you like this kind of Battle Brothers kind of playthrough, let me know. And if you don't, also let me know, I guess. Or don't let me know. I don't, I don't know. Just I'd, I'd like to know if people are interested in this kind of... Uh, This kind of uh, Let's Play content on my YouTube. I don't normally do anything exclusive to the YouTube, but this time I wanted to just give it a try. So I hope you had a good time. I had a fantastic time. Really enjoy Battle Brothers. I think it's a super fantastic game. And uh, again, I'll have the uh, link in the, strip in the description for the spreadsheet that we're using to build the characters and also the uh, list of mods and stuff like that. So thanks a bunch. Have a great one. Peace.